the November 5th general election, 17 News will profile candidates for federal, state, and local offices. We begin tonight with the District 2 Supervisors race to replace Zach Scrivener. 17's Jenny Hudd joining us now in studio with more on Chris Parlier. Jenny. You may know Parlier from his days on the Bakersfield City Council. Following, following a health hiatus, Parlier says he's ready to hit the ground running. My style is rubber meets the road, uh, being connected with my constituents, uh, with staff. You really don't get anything done unless you are connected with those department heads. The two-term former council member says he was known as a city leader who was always accessible and he'll be no different as a county leader. The 61-year-old resident of Southwest Bakersfield says he never thought he'd get back into politics after leaving office in 2022 at the end of his term due to health reasons. Thank God over the last couple of years have drastically improved. District 2 is geographically the largest in Kern, stretching east from Taft and Maricopa to portions of South and East Bakersfield and through the mountains of Tehachapi through most of the Kern Desert. District 2 was added last minute to the November ballot when former Supervisor Zach Scrivener resigned in August. That left the seat vacant. The day that it came about, I started getting pinged uh, from different people saying, Chris, you know, if you're able, I think it would be a really good fit for you. Parlier grew up in Chicago. I started in law enforcement when I was 18 in the United States Air Force. I went on to have a very successful career in the state of California, retiring as a special agent with the California Department of Justice, Bureau of Narcotic Enforcement. Parlier says his biggest city council wins were on public safety and law enforcement. The hiring of 100 new police officers, bringing back the, the motor unit, the motorcycle unit from zero to about 20, really increasing uh, public safety, pedestrian safety. The person that you were trying to succeed was very tough on Sacramento and, mm -hmm. and Governor Newsom when it came to those industries. So again, oil, gas, where do you stand on those topics? You're talking about the most environmentally sound practices of getting oil, or I call it ground energies out of the ground, looking at all sides of um, energy, whether that's wind, solar, or uh, ground energies. I think it's all important. I think it's important to Kern County. Parlier also says jobs, housing affordability, and hyper-local services like a bank in Mojave are top of mind. You can find the full interview with Parlier on our website, kget.com. Next, we will profile candidate Bernita Jenkins. Jenny Ha, 17 News.